Hi, I'm Big Cow, and welcome to my world. Today, another recent video games, Pickups video. So, firstly, we'll go through a big stack that will be very quick because there's not footage recorded for it. Um, yes, yeah, so the first two are Xbox 360 Kinect games. Again, as I mentioned in previous pickups where I've showed off Kinect games, yeah, I'm going to do a big video at some point showing them all off with footage. So, yeah, the first is Fighters Uncaged, which, you know, a beat em up game, I guess, a MMA game, I don't know. You fight, you use your fists and things. Kinect's required. Yeah, picked it up, nice and cheap. And then we have a still sealed Kinect game, Kung Fu High Impact. Still sealed. It is the uh, the German version, I believe, or um, Italian version. Yeah, I think it's the Italian version, and it you know plays in English on the system, so that's fine. It actually, it was cheaper for me to get a brand new sealed version than it was to get a pre-owned version, so that's why it's uh, still sealed at the moment. But I'm interested in trying that one out. It's supposed to be really, really crazy and fun, and it's one of the more expensive Kinect games, believe it or not. Yeah, and then we just have now a bunch of PlayStation 2 iToy games. Yeah, I've been picking these up recently, so yeah, we'll just go through them quick. We have iToy Chat Lite, which is just a um, you know a chat program that you can use the iToy with on the PS2 back in the day. Yeah, iToy Kinetic. Uh, yep, so just a workout one, whatever. iToy Groove. Dancing one, you won't be seeing me dance. There we have Spy Toy, where you play as a spy. It's supposed to be really fun, actually. So, yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, you Move Super Sports, bunch of crappy sports games. We use the iToy, so yeah. Um, iToy Play 2, I already own the first one, I need the third one still. Yeah, just a bunch of mini games, and I remember playing the first one, it was actually decently fun. Um, anti Grav, which is kind of like a, a racing game, I believe, we're on like an um, anti Grav board thingy. Yep, and then finally, uh, Kinetic Combat, yeah, which is uh, just like um, a fitness thing again, and this one comes with a special wide lens for the eye toy as well so you can actually see yourself properly when you're doing it so yeah it's going to be interesting to uh, check those out at some point give them a play and see what they're actually like right next up for the nintendo entertainment system we have a game genie yes the original game genie um so slot it in slot your game in the top there and then you type in the code, there are none saved onto it, which is uh, a bit of a pain, but you know, what do you expect from uh, the NES, I guess. Yeah, so a bit of a pain just to get working because you have to, obviously with Nintendo systems, just putting a game in sometimes can be a bit finicky getting it to work, so you have to make sure that A, the Game Genie works, and then you have to put in a game here and make sure that that works through the Game Genie. Took me a long time to get stuff working. I tried Super Mario Bros. 3, put in the code, and it would crash as soon as I started a level. Bit of a pain. But I did test it with Gremlins 2, and that worked perfectly fine. Yes, yeah, so I did buy this for one particular reason, and we'll find out uh, in a few months, actually. So, yeah, you'll have to wait for why I got that. Then we have an N64 game, and this is a... Um, bootleg, reproduction, fan made, whatever, um, basically it is an English translation version of Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, uh, this is the um, Freem edition, and it basically puts in a ton of wrestlers from the WWF and WCW games from the N64 as well, so yeah, really really cool to own, um, got the American version so I can use it in my uh, NTSC um, N64 with a better uh, S video cable because getting a PAL S video cable for the N64 is very expensive so yeah picked that up really cool to have because I've always wanted to really play through the virtual pro wrestling games but they're obviously all in Japanese and a bit of a pain sometimes so having an English version and having all the WWF and WCW stars in there as well don't have to go around creating them myself yeah really cool to have next then we have some switch games 
just recently released. I'm almost at the end of it. I've got uh, two chapters to go now. Yeah, yeah, I've got. I'm on chapter six. I think there's seven chapters, or I'm on chapter seven. And there's eight chapters. Whatever it is, I've got two left, and that is Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. Absolutely fantastic RPG from Nintendo. I did pick this up last year for a decent amount of money on the GameCube. And then, of course, they announced it was coming to Switch right after. Bit of a pain, but it is what it is. And, yeah, I immediately jumped on the Switch version anyway. Oh, it only plays at 30 FPS, with the GameCube one to 60 FPS. I played through it for hours now. Like I said, I'm almost at the end. I'm having a blast. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> it does not matter that it's 30 and not 60. I haven't noticed anything bad about the game because of that. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, some of the issues are still there, some of them have been solved with some new warp pipes, but uh, overall I'm having a lot of fun with it, despite the fact I only played it last year, the original version. Playing through it again now, I remember enough where it's kind of streamlined my gameplay, so I know what I'm doing, where I'm going, but I don't remember everything, so some stuff still surprises me, find some secrets that <laughs> I wasn't entirely sure were there. Yeah, so absolutely amazing game, so happy it's come out. And then we have one from Play Asia. Uh, this is a 3D platformer, uh, Koa, um, I don't remember the full English name of it, something about pirates, <laughs> yeah, um, basically a 3D platformer, indie, um, it's available on all systems these days, uh, digital, but of course there was a uh, physical release over in Asia, so I ordered it from Play Asia, and it does have the English language in it, so yeah, it's fun, it's colourful, uh, just cool to have a physical version of that. And lastly, a uh, pretty decent pickup for the Sega Dreamcast. One of the slightly more expensive games, not too pricey, uh, about £30. Yeah, um, and this has been on my uh, wish list for a while or for the uh, Dreamcast. I saw it um, at a, a local game shop, um, on their website anyway, and I just decided to order it. Yeah, and I'm glad I did, and that is Lodos, Record of Lodos War. Although I think it's just Record of Lodos War. Why it has Lodos, again, on the title there, is just Record of Lodos War, I believe. Yeah, and basically it's a Diablo-style game. Um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty awesome. You don't create a character and have a different class or anything. Um, you play as this one particular character. And, yeah, you just go around here. You know, Exploring like you would in Diablo, finding dungeons, attacking things, leveling up, getting new weapons and equipment. Yeah, so I've been after it for a while, saw it for that price, thought, you know what, I'm going to go for it. It's complete, in great condition, plays perfect. Very, very happy to add that to my Dreamcast collection. So, there we go, a couple of Switch games. Uh, oh, no, sorry, still one game left. Underneath some stuff. Uh, was after this for quite a while when it came out on PS4. Then it also got a release on PC, but my PC can't run it because it's not the best. <laughs> it's 12 years old now. Yeah, so... Uh, and then I saw it on the PS5 as well, and it was cheaper for me to buy it for the PS5 than the PS4. So, yeah, picked it up finally, and that is Sackboy A Big Adventure. I am not really a fan of the Little Big Planet games, the originals, because I always thought that the platforming didn't feel good at all. So just... The jumping and everything, the physics just felt really off to me. And as far as the creation goes, I always felt it was far too complex. I just didn't really understand how a lot of it worked. So I just never really bothered with those games. This, though, is a straight-up 3D platformer, very much in the style of Super Mario 3D Land and 3D World. And I love 3D World. So getting that, Sackboy, absolutely fantastic. Yep. So I've played uh, quite a bit of it already. Yeah, it's very fun, very, very cool. Lots of secrets and things to find in there. Lots of stuff doing the levels. Um, there's very little in terms of combat. It's more about exploration, just getting to the end. But yeah, still a very, very fun game. So that is finally. We've got a PS5 3D platformer, a Switch 3D platformer, a Switch remaster of a GameCube game that is absolutely awesome. We've got the Diablo clone for <laughs> the Dreamcast we got uh, the Freem edition of Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 for the N64, so I can finally play it in English. we got a Game Genie. we got some Kinect games and some iToy games. A lot there, but obviously not a lot of footage for most of those games, but it is what it is. I'll get to those at some point. 
Anyway, I'm Big Cal. Thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of my pickups. Let me know what you've got lately. And I'll see you again next time. Thank you.